I am <clears throat> happy to welcome and introduce Father Andrzej, who is a Redemptorist priest from Poland. He is here for a mission appeal for their mission. Father Andrzej. Dear sisters and brothers in Christ, since the breakup of the Soviet Union in 1989, all of those countries that were under Soviet rule are now enjoying democratic freedom. The churches, to and especially the Catholic Church, is free to reorganize and develop. During the time of communist religion was suppressed. Children were taught in school, there is no God. Persecution was the order for all religions. Orthodox, Catholics, Baptists, Methodists, and so on. Priests, pastors, religious men and women who defied the law were either imprisoned or executed. Churches and houses of prayer were destroyed or used for our purposes, as organ halls, cinemas, dance hall, and even markets. Many heroic people defied to the law and continued to meet and pray in secret. Many priests continued to attend to the religious needs of the people with danger to their freedom and even lives. In fact, over the past 10 years, many of those men and women who worked and died for their faith have been beatified. Examples. A Polish priest, Father Alexander, lived and worked in Agnero Sagdańs, a city in Siberia. He gathered the Catholics in private houses for mass, baptism, marriage, and instruction. He attended the sick and was present at funerals. That was in the 1950s and 1960s. Many of the people there now were baptized by him. Now far from here, a Jesuit priest is buried. He is a young priest who went to into Russia to attend the people in secret. Very shortly afterwards, he was arrested as a Vatican spy and uh, was in prison in Moscow and then in a prison labor camps in Siberia. After he was released in 1960s, he attended communities of Catholics in various places in Siberia. But uh, when the police found out, he had to move on to our places. Finally, through the persistence, of his sister here in the United States in the American government, he was sent back to the States. With the opening up after 1989, a big task for the Catholic Church was to re-establish itself. A big problem was the lack of places meeting and of worship, as all the Catholic Church has been taken over or destroyed. Many priests and religious who had, living, who had been living and working in secret came out into the open and gathered the people in private houses and public buildings. In some places like Novosibirsk, the people with the guidance of priests built small churches. When Pope John Paul II established new diocese because of the lack of priests and religious to work at the giant task of restoration. Teams of priests, nuns and religious men have come from abroad as missionaries, most of them from Poland, Germany, Ireland, Austria, Italy. Argentina, Slovakia, and the United States. Thank God there has been great and rapid progress in the formation of parishes, 
the restoration of old and the building of new churches. The establishment of religious congregation of men and women and dire monasteries and houses of formation, the founding of Catholic schools. All of that uh, goes into the building up of the local churches and to formation of the people of God. And this, of course, includes of necessity reaching out to the social and material needs of people. This is a giant and ongoing task, the task of building or rebuilding the kingdom of God in this part of the world. Many of you will remember the prayers for the conversion of Russia, especially during the family Rosario. He asked about the matter of God of Fatima. You may ask, where has the finance for all of this progress come? And the short answer is, not from the Catholics of the former Soviet Union, who have been just surviving after the communist experiment bumped from outside, from Germany, Italy, Poland, Ireland, among other countries. The United States, through the Conference of Bishops and other organizations and foundations, have been very generous in financing so many Catholic church projects, not to mention the renewed generosity of American Catholics. I am a redemptorist. Redemptorists have been very much involved in the post-Soviet building up of the church in the end. Redemptors from Poland, since the opening up until present day, have founded religious communities and started parishes in Belarus, Kazakhstan, Ukraine, Russia, including Central Siberia. At the moment, uh, there are 25 Redemptors involved in this mission in the Eastern countries. They are working to building up the local churches to be self-sufficient. And to finish off, I want to thank you. At the same time, share good news with you. As you know, St. John Paul II wanted to go on a pilgrimage to Russia. However, he was not allowed to come. Thanks to your prayer and our support, Pope John Paul II will be able to stay with Catholics in Russia forever, because nowadays the Redemptorists in Toliati by the Volga are building a church named John Paul II, so that Catholics there will also have a place to meet God. Almost one million people live there, and so far a Catholic church has never been built. Thank you, and may God bless you all, your families, and loved ones. Thank you.